students, faculty, family, and friends, and honored guests, thank you for joining us today. I am Chuck Rozak, Vice Provost for Graduate Education in Academic and Faculty Affairs, and I would like to welcome you to the 16th Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. Thank you for honoring our graduate students, postdocs, and faculty recipients of the John S. Dikoff Awards. I look forward to this event every year since it gives our academic community an opportunity to recognize the contributions of so many individuals who make this university a special place to work and learn. Before we begin the award ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ben Vincent III, Provost and Executive Vice President, who will present some opening comments. Welcome everyone to the 16th Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. It is my pleasure to recognize our graduate students and postdocs for their excellence in research and teaching and service here at Case Western Reserve University. The months that are behind us and those that are ahead are filled with so many feelings. Feelings of uncertainty, of doubt, of strength, of joy, of confusion. And now, I also hope they're filled with hope and overwhelming pride. It's safe to say that all of you are here being recognized today because you have overcome obstacles, and you should definitely be proud of that. Today, we recognize your spectacular achievements. We salute your incredible successes, but we also honor the path that has also led you there. I know it's been sometimes confusing. Uh, I, I know that the road has sometimes been rocky. It's probably sometimes left some of you feeling lonely or unsure. Today, we honor those moments along with your great achievements. And in today's act of recognition, we are simultaneously looking forward. We know that there's a brighter future ahead, a future filled with promise, a future filled with the elements of excellence that you've cultivated at Case Western Reserve University. Today, we also recognize the winners of the John S. Dykoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. We celebrate your absolute dedication to the role of teacher and mentor. I cannot be more proud of what today represents for you and for us and for our university. Case Western Reserve believes in making society better. We are collectively a testament to the power of innovation, the power of creative thinking, of social entrepreneurship, and the power of social justice. The essence of who we are is manifested in these awards that you are about to receive. We are so grateful that you've chosen Case Western Reserve University, and we wish you the best of luck as you continue along your journey. Thank you, Dr. Vinson. We will now begin the presentation of awards. Our first awards will be from the departments in the College of Arts and Sciences and will be presented by Dr. Elena Gertzman, Archbishop Paul J. Hallinan, Professor in Catholic Studies and Director of Graduate Studies in the Department of Art, History and Art. Dr. Christopher Flint, Professor and Chair, Department of English. Dr. Karen Potter, Chair of the Department of Dance and Dr. Kurt Koenigsberger, Associate Dean in the College of Arts and Sciences and Associate Professor in the Department of English. Our first pair of awards are to honor one Master of Arts student and one PhD student for best paper. The Friends of Art Best MA Paper Award this year goes to Mia Hafer. The Friends of Art Best PhD Paper Award this year goes to Alexandra Kaczynski. Our final award is Friends of Art Best Overall Performance by Graduate Student Award. The recipient this year is Kylie Fisher. Congratulations to all three. Hello, my name is Chris Flint and I am chair of the English department here at Case Western Reserve University. I'm very pleased today to announce the following awards. The Arthur Adrian and Roger B. Solomon Dissertation Fellowship 
releases advanced doctoral students from graduate assistantship duties to devote full-time attention to their dissertation projects. The winner of this year's award is doctoral candidate Leah Davidoff, who will use the 2020-21 term to work on her dissertation, prospectively titled Mesmeric Realism, Models of Consciousness and Interiority in the 19th Century Novel. The Neil McIntyre Prize recognizes the best scholarly paper written by an English department graduate student. The winner of this year's award is doctoral candidate Britta Thielen for her essay entitled Preparing the Table, Reconstituting Cultural Identity Through Cookbooks. The Timothy Calhoun Memorial Prize for Poetry recognizes the best poem or group of poems by a graduate student in the Department of English. This year's first place recipient is Garrett Waugh, a graduating MA in English this spring, for his poems Private Industry, Rex, and Lilac. This year's second place recipient of the Timothy Calhoun Memorial Prize for Poetry is doctoral candidate Britta Thielen for her poems, Figuration, and To the Girl of the Skull with a Seashell Ear. Congratulations to all the winners of these awards and best wishes to all. Hello, I'm Karen Potter, Chair of the Department of Dance, and it is my pleasure to announce that this year's recipient of the Catherine Karapides Award for Excellence in Teaching is Ms. Yuting Zhao. Ms. Zhao is a candidate for the degree of the Master of Fine Arts in Contemporary Dance. She has demonstrated excellence in teaching studio or practicum-based classes, as well as in such classes as dance history, where she delivered excellent lectures. Congratulations, Yuting, we are so proud of you. The next award is the Cleveland Arts Prize, Catherine Karapides Scholarship in Modern Dance. This scholarship, which is held by the Cleveland Arts Prize and administered through the School of Graduate Studies, provides a graduate student in dance with an opportunity to take a modern dance workshop during the summer. Catherine Karapides is a renowned choreographer and she served on the faculty at Case Western Reserve University for 42 years. She retired from the university in 1998 as the Samuel B. and Virginia C. Knight Professor Emerita of Humanities. She also then served as an associate provost from 2003 to 2009. She is still active in the community, serving on numerous boards. This year's recipient of the Catherine Karapides Scholarship in Modern Dance is Katie Neighbors. Miss Neighbors is a second year graduate student in our department, and she is pursuing the degree of the Master of Fine Arts in Contemporary Dance. Congratulations, Katie. Good afternoon. My name is Kurt Koenigsberger, and I'm an Associate Dean in the College of Arts and Sciences. On behalf of the college, I'm pleased to introduce awards for the Departments of Chemistry, Music, and Psychological Sciences. The first award from the Department of Chemistry is the Dumitru and George D. Matiescu Graduate Student Citizenship Award in recognition of devoted and distinguished service as a role model to the graduate student community of the chemistry department. This year's awards go to Naishka Caldero and Kai Wong. The next award is the Charles F. Mayberry Award for Best Thesis in Chemistry. This year's award goes to Samira. Wikrama Singh. Now we turn to awards in the Department of Music. The Adel Heinrich Award is awarded by the Department of Music for Outstanding Academic Achievement to a Graduate Student in Musicology. The winner of this year's award is Sophie Ben. The first award from the Department of Psychological Sciences, the Donald K. Friedheim Award for an Outstanding Contribution to Clinical Service, is awarded to Eleanor Beale, and Alexandra Smith. Our next award, the Diversity, Culture, and Community Award, goes to Alexandra Piedra. The following students are recognized for excellence in instruction to undergraduate students. These awards go to 
Allison Beyer, and Sarah Danzo. The Jane Kessler Award for Outstanding Clinical Teaching of a Fourth Year is awarded to Alexandra Smith. The Sarah Kane Spinagel Graduate Student Award for Meritorious Service to the Clinical Program, Field, or Community is awarded to Ellen Dernberg. The final award for the Department of Psychological Sciences is the Morris Parloff Award for an Outstanding Contribution to Clinical Research. This is awarded to Alexandra Klein. This completes this year's awards from departments in the College of Arts and Sciences. Please join me in applauding our outstanding students and their many achievements. Thank you, Dr. Gertzman, Flint, Potter, and Koenigsberger. The next awards will be from the departments in the School of Engineering and will be presented by Dr. Robert Gao, Caddy Staley Professor of Engineering and Chair of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, and Dr. Bill Yu, Frank H. Neff Professor of Civil Engineering an interim department chair for the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the EME Department's 2020 Graduate Students Awards Virtual Ceremony. My name is Robert Gao, and I'm chair of the department. The award is titled the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Graduate Research Award in memory of Xiaoyang Zhao, who is a former PhD student of the department. The award was created in 2017 through an endowment made by Professor Emeritus James Tan. The award is conveyed each year to a group of PhD students who are selected by the department's Graduate Studies Committee based on the students' demonstrated scholarly accomplishments in a previous year. For example, by publishing papers on technical journals of the field of study. Each award consists of a cash award together with a certificate from the department. The 2020 student awardees consist of four students. The first is Feng Feng Wang, a PhD student of Professor Chris Yuan. Feng Feng published two papers last year on two ASME journals, one the Journal of Electrochemical Energy Conversion and Storage, and the other is the Journal of Micro and Nano Manufacturing. Both papers have to do with the study of metal-assisted chemical etching of silicon nanowires or lithium-ion batteries. The next awardee is Wu Han Cui, a PhD student of Professor Yating Liao. Wu Han published last year on the Fire Safety Journal a paper on experimental study of upward flame spread over discrete thin fuels. Our next student award, awardee is named Chongning Huang, a student of Professor Shirak Karangadi. Chongning published last year on the International Journal of Heat and Mass Transfer a paper on the study of mechanistic modeling for predicting flow boiling critical heat flux based on hydrodynamic instabilities. Last but not least, we have Kai Yu Deng, a PhD student of Professor Roger Quinn. Kai Yu published last year on the Journal of Biomimetics, a paper on neural mechanical model of rat hind limb walking with two layer CPGs. I would like to congratulate all the four student of Bordis. Your work is significant in multiple ways. First, you're accomplishing an important milestone in your pursuit for high quality open-ended research. You're making a critical step forward toward meeting a departmental requirement for our PhD students. Namely, a student should publish a minimum of two journal papers before graduating with a PhD degree. Your work contributes directly to your advisor's uh, competitively funded research program. By creating and disseminating knowledge 
resulting from your work. Your work inspires your fellow students and colleagues to aim high and become competitive in their respective field of study, both nationally and internationally. Last but not least, you are contributing to improving the overall scholarly performance of our department by enhancing its visibility and academic reputation. Once again, congratulations to everyone. I wish you continued success in your study here in our department at Case Western Reserve University. Thank you. Hello, I'm Bill Yu, uh, Interim Chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Representing the faculty of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, I'm pleased to announce the 2020 Graduate Student Award recipient. The first award is Civil Engineering Student Leadership Award. This award is awarded to a student who demonstrated excellent leadership skills to the department student organizations. The 2020 award recipient is Ms. Mariam Mordavi. Marion served in her capacity as the president of the Department Graduate Student Association and has done a terrific, terrific job. Congratulations, Marion. The next one is the Craig J. Miller Memorial Award. This award is awarded to graduates in civil engineering who have shown outstanding academic achievements. The 2020 award recipients are Ms. Xi Jin Zhang, and Ms. Huang Huang. Both are PhD students specialized in geotech engineering and environmental engineering, respectively. Congratulations. Now, the next one is the Kenneth M. Harbour Award. This award is awarded to an outstanding student in civil engineering. The 2020 award recipient is Ms. Ram. Mazonda Ram is a PhD student in the, in the structural engineering area and has done a terrific job with his dissertation research. Congratulations, Ram. Now, the next one is Richard and Opel Wonderful Award, awarded to an outstanding student in civil engineering. The 2020 recipients are Patricia Chen, and Isabel Rose McLeod. Both students are PSMS students in structural engineering specialty area. Congratulations. Now, the last one is a Row Harley Prize, awarded to a promising grad student in civil engineering. The 2020 award recipients are Ms. Xu Dongfan, a PhD student, and Ms. Addy Rose, a BSMS student. Congratulations. Representing the department faculty, I would like to extend our sincere congratulations to all the award recipients, and please keep on the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Drs. Gao and Yu. The next awards will be from the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing and the Jack Joseph and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences and will be presented by Dr. Joachim Voss, Program Director in Independence Foundation, Professor of Nursing Education, Dr. Diana Morris, Florence Seller, Associate Professor of Gerontological Nursing and Executive Director of the University Center on Aging and Health, and Dr. Sonia Minnis, Associate Professor of Social Work and Chair of the Doctoral Program in Social Welfare. Good afternoon. My name is Joachim Voss. I'm the director of the PhD program at the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. 
It is a special honor and a privilege for me to present the Dean's Legacy Awards. These awards are to be given to outstanding graduates whose achievements and contributions to our school and our community exemplify the legacy of academic excellence, service to the larger community, and the capacity to leadership and innovation in health, for which Francis Payne Bolton was so well known. The recipients are selected by the Dean of Nursing from nominations presented by the program directors. The PhD recipients of the 2020 Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing Dean's Legacy Awards are Christine Horvath Davy and Elizabeth Williams. Congratulations and have a great day. The Marie Haug Award of the University Center on Aging and Health in the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing is presented to graduate students who have distinguished themselves in studies of aging. The award was established to honor Dr. Haug, a prolific researcher who was a co-founder of the Center on Aging in 1978. The winner of this year's awards are Tyrone Hamler, a doctoral candidate at the Jack Joseph and Morton Mendel School of Applied Social Sciences. Congratulations, Tyrone. And Polina Aramoshinka, a doctoral candidate in the Department of Sociology. Congratulations, Polina. The Errol Jack Dissertation Award is presented to an outstanding social welfare doctoral student at the Jack Joseph and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences. The winner of this year's award is Jun Yan Kim. Thank you, Drs. Voss, Morris, and Minnis. The next awards will be from the departments in the School of Medicine and will be presented by Dr. Darren Croft, Professor and Director of the Master of Science in Applied Anatomy Program, and Dr. Paul McDonald, Professor of Pharmacology and Associate Dean for Graduate Education in the School of Medicine. It is my great pleasure to present the 2020 Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Excellence in Anatomy. Herbert S. Stewart was a member of the West Missouri University Medical School, class of 1921. After completing residency, he opened an office of radiology. In his spare time, he volunteered for the Department of Anatomy and eventually became a faculty member. He was appointed a lab demonstrator in 1923 and held that position until his untimely death in 1928 due to an accident in the course of his investigative work in X-ray technique. A fund was established by his medical associates and personal friends to establish, quote, a memorial of his work and life perpetuated as far as possible in the department he loved best, anatomy. Since that time, the Department of Anatomy has annually conferred this award, which is accompanied by a $500 honorarium to one or more worthy students. The first award was conferred to a medical student, Bert Held, in 1929. In the 1960s, PhD students were also considered for this award. Since 2002, Two students have generally received the award, an MS in Applied Anatomy student and a joint MDMS student. Selection is based on GPA, performance in core courses, and other academic contributions and achievements. This year's recipients of the Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Excellence in Anatomy are Bradley Crapes and Yancey Yang. Bradley earned his master's degree last summer and is now completing his first year of medical school at the University of Toledo. Yancey will graduate with his joint degree in May and begin a residency in general surgery at New York University. Congratulations, Bradley and Yancey. It's an honor to be here to recognize our outstanding PhD graduates for exceptional research and scholarship in the programs at the School of Medicine. Our first award, the Lester O. Krampitz Research Award, is presented to a PhD student or postdoc for outstanding research in molecular biology, molecular, molecular virology, or cell biology. This year's winner is Meta Johansson. 
Meta received a PhD from Washington University in St. Louis and is currently a senior research associate in the Department of Molecular Biology at Case Western Reserve University. The next award, the Arthur F. W. Hughes Award in Developmental Biology, recognizes outstanding work by a student in developmental or reproductive biology. This year's winner is Justine No. Justine received a PhD degree in genetics and genome sciences and is currently a postdoctoral scholar in Dr. Anthony Winshaw Boris's lab at the School of Medicine. The next award, the Charlotte E. Smith Award in Public Health Nutrition, is given to a student who demonstrates outstanding academic performance in public health nutrition, actively participates in furthering the mission of the department, and possesses potential for success in the chosen field of emphasis. This year's winner is Andrea J. Rutger. Andrea will receive a master's in public health nutrition this May and is currently a registered dietitian at Aladdin Food Management. The next set of awards, the 2020 School of Medicine Doctoral Excellence Awards are now in their 11th year. These awards recognize and honor outstanding scholarship and service among our graduating PhD candidates in various fields of biomedical sciences. The awards are supported by donations to the Seeds of Discovery PhD Fund and by the School of Medicine. They are designed to recognize exceptional accomplishments from this year's highly successful group of PhD graduates. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biochemistry is presented to Leah Zagora. Leah received a Doctor of Philosophy degree in biochemistry uh, in January 2020. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biomedical Engineering is presented to Nathaniel Brahman. Nate will receive his PhD degree in Biomedical Engineering this May. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Clinical Translational Science is presented to Uriel Kim. Uriel will receive a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Clinical Translational Science this May before starting his third year of medical school at Case. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Epidemiology and Biostatistics is presented to Daniel Antoneda. Dan will receive his PhD degree in Epidemiology and Biostatistics this May. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Genetics and Genome Sciences is presented to Andrew Morton. Andrew will receive a PhD degree in Genetics and Genome Sciences this May before starting his third year of medical school uh, here at Case. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Molecular Medicine is presented to Tyler Alban. Tyler will receive a PhD degree in me Molecular Medicine this May. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Neurosciences is presented to Taylor J. Taylor received her PhD degree in Neurosciences and is currently a postdoctoral scholar in the lab of Dr. Mark Freeman in the Volum Institute at Oregon Health and Sciences University. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Pathology is presented to Tristan DeJesus. Tristan received his PhD degree and is currently a postdoctoral researcher at Sanofi in Boston, Massachusetts. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Pharmacology is presented to Wilnelli Hernandez Sanchez. Wilnelli will receive her PhD degree in Pharmacology this May. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Physiology and Biophysics is presented to W. Michael Babinchak. Michael will receive a PhD degree in physiology and biophysics this May before starting his third year of medical school at Case Western Reserve University. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Systems Biology and Bioinformatics is presented to Zachary Stanfield. Zach received his PhD and is currently a postdoctoral researcher at the Environmental Protection Agency 
in the Center for Computational Toxicology and Exposure in Durham, North Carolina. It is truly an honor to recognize these outstanding PhD graduates and the impressive achievements they have earned doing their research experience here at Case. Thank you. This completes the awards uh, for the School of Medicine. Thank you, Drs. Croft and McDonald. The next awards are those administered by the School of Graduate Studies. Our first award, the Graduate Student Appreciation Award, recognizes graduate students that make a difference on our campus and or the Cleveland community. Winners of this award are nominated by faculty, staff, or students. The winners of this year's awards are Jason Falkowski, Courtney Hirschberger, Anna Miller, Reed O'Mara, Aaron Phelps, Lydia Raines, Carson Smith, Stephanie Swedick, Madison Tasher, and Julie Zhao. Our next award is the Graduate Dean's Instructional Excellence Award. The Graduate Dean's Instructional Award is presented to graduate teaching assistants in recognition of providing outstanding instruction to the students of the university. It presents academic departments with an annual opportunity to honor graduate students who have shown exceptional skill and dedication in their work. It is also a way for us to stress the importance we place on the undergraduate experience at Case by recognizing quality at another key point of the student contact with this university. The winners of this year's award are Philip Derbessi, Michael Douglas, Michael King, Ricardo Manga Neria, Colette Ingana, and Britta Thielen. Our next award is named for Lenore E. Cola, Associate Professor Emerita of Social Work at the Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences and former Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. During her time as Dean, Dr. Kola implemented numerous changes in graduate studies that increased services provided to its constituents. She also mentored graduate student Senate members, encouraging them to give back to the university community and become more actively engaged in the life of the university. Kola's efforts resulted in a very active graduate student Senate leadership team that serves their fellow graduate students on many different levels. In recognition of Dr. Kola's contributions to the graduate student body and the graduate student council, the School of Graduate Studies established the Lenore A. Kola Graduate Student Community Service Award in 2006. This annual award is presented to a graduate student actively engaged in a graduate student organization in recognition of their service to the university community. The winner of this year's award is Aaron McPeck. Our next award is the Ruth Barber Moon Award. The Ruth Barber Moon Endowment Fund was established in 1992 to annually award graduate students on the basis of academic promise leadership ability, and financial need. As alumni of Adelbert College in the School of Graduate Studies, Mr. and Mrs. Moon have shown a lifelong dedication to academia and leadership in education as public school teachers through their civic involvement and their generous support to the university. The winners of this year's award are Yifan Dai, 
Brandon Gregor, Klaansha Pazmatsu, and Jacob Rivera. The last award from the School of Graduate Studies is named for Richard A. Zadanis, Provost and University Vice President Emeritus and Professor Emeritus of Physics. Dr. Zadanis served as Case Western Reserve University's Provost from 1988 to 2000. The Richard A. Zadanis Research Fellowship is presented to a PhD student in recognition of their research creativity and its contribution to the student's field of practice. This year's winner is Alex Rothbaum. Our final awards for this year are the John S. Dickoff Awards for Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. I thought I would take a minute and share with you a brief history of John Dickoff and the awards which are named in his honor. John Dickoff received his bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan and his PhD in English from Western Reserve University. Professor Dickoff was a distinguished scholar of the works of the English poet John Milton. He was highly regarded as a teacher and as a mentor of faculty and students. He was also a skilled administrator to whom the university entrusted some of its more daunting challenges. During his career, Professor Dickoff was Dean of Cleveland College, Professor in Arts and Sciences, Professor of English, Chairman of the Department of English, Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences, Vice Provost, and served twice as Acting Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. In 1980, Vera Dikoff, John's wife, established the John S. Dikoff Endowment Fund for Distinguished Graduate Teaching in honor of her husband. In 2009, after consultation with the Graduate Student Senate, the School of Graduate Studies established a second set of awards named the John S. Dikoff Awards for Graduate Mentoring. These new annual awards offer recognition to faculty who are distinguished mentors of graduate students. In my estimation, the significance of the Dikoff Awards is determined by the manner in which the winners are selected. The entire process, from nomination to the selection of the winners, is conducted by a committee of the Graduate Student Council. Therefore, it's appropriate that we now hear from Ms. Caitlin O'Brien and Ms. Liz Akinbiyi, co-chairs of the Dikoff Awards Selection Committee. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Akinbiyi. I'm a PhD candidate in the School of Medicine. And I'm Caitlin O'Brien. I'm a master's student from the Department of English. As co-chairs, we're excited about presenting this year's DCOF Award winners. But before we do, we'd like to recognize this year's student committee. This committee consisted of graduate students representing a wide range of departments and disciplines within the School of Graduate Studies. These students volunteered their time over the spring semester, reviewing almost 100 initial applications for this award. Especially during these difficult past few months, we would like to thank them for their time and enthusiasm throughout this process. First, we will announce this year's two recipients of the 2020 John S. Dikoff Award for Excellent in Graduate Teaching. We would enthusiastically like to congratulate professors Karen Potter and Jim Spilsbury. Karen Potter is the chair and professor of the Department of Dan. The committee was impressed by Professor Potter's initial application, particularly her story about knowing her calling to become a teacher at the age of 10. One of her students described her as an incredible leader. She loves to teach and help shape the teachers of tomorrow. She's focused, wise, and caring, and will always be there for her students when they need guidance. Finally, the committee was most impressed with her ability to continue instructing dance over Zoom the past few months and to exude enthusiasm, compassion, and empathy through her video interview. Congratulations, Professor Potter. 
Jim Spilsbury is an associate professor in the Department of Population and Quantitative Health Sciences. A student describes him as a consistent advocate who's emotionally intelligent. The committee was inspired by Professor Spilsbury clear passion and dedication to students, wanting to help them achieve their goals. During the interview, the committee observed his enthusiasm, humility, flexibility, and introspective qualities. Congratulations, Professor Spilsbury. Next, we would like to announce this year's two recipients for the 2020 John S. Decock Award for Excellence in Graduate Mentoring. We would enthusiastically like to recognize Professors Eva Kahana and Anat Matabushi. Eva Kahana is a distinguished university professor in the Department of Sociology. Despite the incredible adversity of her childhood, throughout her career, Professor Kahana has maintained high standards with a heart, compassionately having an open door to both her office and her home. Mentees have described her as a perfect example of what a good mentor represents. She is kind, thoughtful, consistent, supportive, and inspiring. Professor Kahana will not only fight for you, but she will also affirm you and validate you as a person and a scholar. Congratulations, Professor Kahana. Anat Matabushi is a professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. It was clear to the committee that Professor Matabushi's mentoring experience was extensive, with him having mentored over 175 individuals. A student expressed feeling extremely fortunate to have had a not as a mentor, teacher, research advisor, confidant, and friend over the past five years. The committee was impressed by his fierce advocacy for women in STEM and immense contributions to his field that bridges many disciplines. Congratulations, Professor Matabushi. On behalf of this year's committee for the John S. Decoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring, we would like to congratulate all the winners again. It has truly been an honor to be a part of this tradition. Thank you, Caitlin and Liz. Congratulations to all of our outstanding recipients. Before we go, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thanks to the students and faculty for their hard work and for the enrichment they have brought to the university community. Thank you to those who support them, faculty, family, and friends. And a heartfelt thanks to the graduate studies staff for the effort they have put into this event and the time they spend each day trying to make the graduate experience at Case Western Reserve a success. This concludes our award ceremony. Thank you. <laughs>